What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Cora. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of my favorite casual fall outfits. So kind of a fall lookbook. We will not be looking at my fall lookbook from two years ago when I first created my YouTube channel. Yikes. Today I can redeem myself from that disgusting video. So before we get into this video, I want to give a big thank you to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. All the pieces you're seeing in today's video are from Princess Polly and they will be linked in the description box if you guys want to twin with me. If you don't know what Princess Polly is, it is an online clothing store. They have the cutest pieces for any occasion, whether it be dressy, casual, festival, anything. So if you are shopping Princess Polly, make sure to use this discount code at checkout so you can get 20% off your order. So Princess Polly ships within the US and they also offer afterpay to their customers. So so you get free express shipping, which means about three to four days with any US order over $50. Guys, my package came so fast, no joke. One more thing before we hop into this video, I will be doing a giveaway on my Instagram, so make sure to go follow me on Instagram. It's at Coral Seashell, and I will be giving away two $100 gift cards to Princess Polly. All of the rules to enter the giveaway will be in the description of my Instagram post. So that is it. Now let's just get started with my fall lookbook 2020. Okay, so this is my first fall outfit. This is so comfortable. I'm obsessed with dresses and skirts because they're so much more comfortable because you don't have to wear jeans or tight pants. I hate that for me. Let's call this outfit the Britney Spears schoolgirl outfit because honestly, that's what it looks like. All I need is the stockings and I'm good to go. This is a plaid mini skirt. It's also really comfortable because it has this adjustable band. And then this is just a white long sleeve. I like this scoop neck accent. It's kind of like a sweater material. It's really comfortable and cute. And then lastly, I have these sunglasses, which I think just kind of make the outfit. Okay, anyways. Oh yes, and then the last part of this outfit are these gold hoop earrings. I'm a really big fan of gold and I've never had this big of gold hoop earrings. And I think they're so cute and they go with my gold necklaces. <gasps> oh, she says she wanna dance, but she don't know how to- Hey guys. Okay, next outfit. Okay, so this is outfit number two. Honestly, I like this outfit, but it's so outside of my comfort zone. I've never worn something like this. I feel like usually I'm more basic in the clothes that I wear. I guess it's kind of basic, but I don't know. I just never worn something like this. Like the snakeskin belt is kind of out of the comfort zone for me, but I still like it and maybe I will try to wear it outside to take a photo and then immediately change back into sweatpants. And yeah, that is my second outfit. Oh my god, from here up, I literally look like Christopher Columbus. Okay, next outfit. Okay, this is outfit number three. I have this tan and brown flannel. It also has these blue accents on it, which I thought went really well with this graphic Royas t-shirt. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, so don't roast me in the comments if it's not. But yeah, this is a graphic t-shirt. I just tied it in the front. And then these jeans I'm obsessed with. I don't have any black jeans, so I was so excited when I got these and they fit me so well. And my favorite part about this outfit is the butt rip and the jeans. That's it for outfit number three. Okay, this is outfit number four. I absolutely love this top. It is a lace silk baby blue top. This is one of my favorite colors, so I think it's so cute. And then these are the same black jeans that I just wore before with the butt rip. So this is a pretty simple outfit, but I think it's definitely really cute. Also, if you live in a warmer area, this is perfect for you. I live in Wisconsin, so there's no way I could legit wear this when it gets like 30 degrees. But right now it's like 80 degrees outside still, so. We're good in this outfit. Be warned, if you get this top, my boobs are kind of flying out of it. I have a size C bra, so yeah. If you are a member of the Itty Bitty Titty Committee, this shirt would be perfect for you. I am not, so still making it work. Okay, next outfit. Okay, this is outfit number five. I had to throw a little dress in here. This dress is so comfortable you guys it is literally like a sweater on me so i think this is called the military dress and i just think it's so cute i'm actually not a big fan of army green but this just like 
screams fall. This is a pretty simple outfit. I'd probably just wear some sneakers with this to make it more casual. You could also dress it up as well. I think adding gold jewelry to it is also really cute. You can add silver as well, but I just prefer gold. Oh my god, I will say though, before you put this dress on, it literally looks like a caterpillar. So if you guys get it, it literally looks like a caterpillar's cocoon. But then when you put it on, it's popping. So period. Okay, next outfit. Okay, this is the next outfit. These are the jeans that I was talking about. They again have the butt rope, which I think is so cute. It's also really subtle. I don't think it's that noticeable when you're just like walking. But yeah, then I also have this green sweater top. I unbuttoned the first two buttons and the last two buttons. I think it is a lot cuter that way. And then these dark blue jeans. I don't have any jeans this color. They also fit so comfortably. I love Princess Polly jeans. I don't know what it is. They just are the only jeans that fit me, honestly. I also obviously kept the gold hoops on. I've been leaving them on for all these outfits because honestly they go together i also think adding this purse would be so cute with this outfit oh my god yes i'm obsessed i'm ready for the runway but yeah this outfit's pretty basic and plain but honestly i like it that way that's it for outfit number i don't know what number we're on next outfit Okay, this is the next outfit. I really went for a monochromatic look here. If you don't know what that means, it just means like wearing all the same color. So as you can see, I just wore all white. Probably don't try this look if you're on my period, which I'm actually on my period right now. So would not wear this out of the house right now. But this is really, really cute. I love these skirts. I just think they're so comfortable and cute. What's up, Shay? So fun. This is the same sweater from the first outfit that I had. And this is like the plaid skirt that I have, but just this is the plain white version. And then again, we have these sunglasses. And then I just have this white mini purse. Next outfit. Okay, this is my next outfit. This is the same flannel that I wore in the other outfit and then the same sweater that I was just wearing in the monochromatic outfit. And then these are again, the jeans that I wore before. So this just shows you, you can mix and match so many pieces. I just feel like Princess Polly has so many basics that you can make into so many different outfits. So yeah, this is just an example of another outfit. I honestly think this is one of my favorites. I like these jeans a lot better without the belt just because they have that asymmetric look. This is so comfortable as well. Like. I could literally do jumping jacks in this. Okay, I'm out of breath now. Yes, this is really comfortable and cute, and I'm obsessed. Okay, next outfit. Okay, this is my next outfit. I think that this is one of my favorites, honestly. So you guys have seen all these pieces in the prior outfits that I showed you. So this is the blue lace top, and then we have the white blouse button down, and then just the same jeans that I was wearing from the last outfit. I think this is literally so cute. Like, why do I love this? Also, I think that my purse would, again, look really cute with this. Oh, yes, that is just adding so much. Anyways, that is it for this outfit. I think this is really cute. Honestly, I might go take an IG pic in this because I'm kind of feeling it recently. So, period. Next outfit. Okay, this is outfit number, I lost count, eight outfits ago. This is, again, pieces you guys have seen before. Really, really comfortable and cute. Kind of like a Wisconsin farmer vibe, but trendy. Shout out to all my Wisconsin subscribers. This is really, really cute. I kind of feel like Addison Rae, she just posted a TikTok in an outfit like this. The fact that I literally just compare myself to Addison Rae, the queen herself, is just so offensive and I'm so sorry. I think it's really trendy and cute to do the like half tuck thing. And then again, you could wear these sunglasses with like any of these outfits. So yep, that's it for this outfit. Here is my next outfit. Again, you guys have seen all these pieces before. I actually haven't shown all the clothes that I've gotten yet, but I just wanted to reuse the pieces and make some cute outfits. So yeah, I gotta have this little white purse and then the lace blue top and this plaid skirt. I kind of like how there's a dark blue accent on the skirt, but then this top is light blue. I think it just adds a little bit, but I still think it's cute together. So let me know if you think it's ugly down below or if you think it's cute. Next outfit. Okay, this is outfit number 12. I honestly think this is so cute. Like, it's so basic, but I think I like how the tan purse matches the snakeskin belt. And then honestly, it's just like a cute basic. You could literally wear this to a party, to dinner, and just casually at your house. Obviously, you wouldn't like be carrying around the purse like at your house. But yeah, I think this is really casual and cute. And it's definitely really comfortable, but also looks like you kind of have your shit together. So, next outfit. Okay, this is the next outfit. Again, another basic with the skirt. Super comfy and cute. I'm gonna call this the librarian, but make it cute outfit. And yeah, next outfit. 
this is my next outfit again this is the flannel i'm really feeling this like whole half tuck thing if i tucked both sides in i literally feel like i'd be on farmersonly.com this is probably not one of my favorites only because i kind of feel like this is giving me wisconsin vibes and i don't really want that from this video you could spice it up with a purse you know something like that but yeah next outfit Okay, here's the next outfit. I'm wearing the same ripped jeans as the last outfit and I have the blue top on again, but this is a new thing. So this is like a sweater and you can button it up like this, but also you can wear it open like this with a cute little top. I'm really liking this outfit. It's again something that I wouldn't normally pick out, but I think it's really cute and I could see myself wearing this like out to dinner or something like that. Obviously I would not show up to class in this outfit. Okay, this is the next outfit. This is just a cropped jean jacket. And then this top, I haven't shown you guys before, but this is from Princess Polly, obviously, because everything in this is from Princess Polly. But I love this off the shoulder top. You could also wear the jean jacket kind of off your shoulder so that you can see the top more. But yeah, these are just the same black butt ripped jeans that you've seen before. Here is the next outfit. Again, this is a new top that you guys haven't seen before. So this is just like an open, as you can see, a legit open top. I'm not really sure exactly what kind of bra you're supposed to wear with these kind of tops, but I think it's really, really cute and they're definitely trendy right now. I just gotta figure out the whole boob situation here. I also think adding the purse adds a lot. You of course don't have to have it, but I like it with it. Okay, here is the next outfit. So this is a top that you guys haven't seen before. It's just this ruffled white tank. And then as you can see, I'm using the green top from before, but actually using it as a sweater instead of like a legit top. So, and then these are just some plain khaki pants that you guys haven't seen before. They're really, really stretchy and comfortable. And to dress this down a little bit, since the khakis are a little bit more fancy, you could just wear like plain white sneakers and I think it would look really cute. Highly recommend. Next outfit. Okay, here is the next outfit. As you can see, I put my hair up in this little clip because honestly, it's just really hot in here, but this is a cute hairstyle that I've been doing recently. But this is the same dress that you guys have seen before, but I just threw this jean jacket over top. I think this makes it a little more casual. And again, it's fall time, so it can get a bit chilly, especially in Wisconsin. I really like the cropness of this jean jacket. I think it goes well with the dress and black and military green are just really cute together. Okay, this is the second to last outfit, aka number 19. We are almost to 20. This sweater is a new piece that you guys haven't seen before. Oh my god, you guys. Like, can we get a zoom in? This material literally feels like pajamas or like just a comfy blanket. I absolutely love it. And I love the mock neck aspect. This could be a sweater for fall or winter. This with like some black combat boots or even just sneakers would look really cute together. Okay, last outfit. Okay, this is the last outfit of the video, aka outfit number 20. So again, we're just wearing these asymmetric jeans, which I think are really cute. I love the light blue with the light pink. And like I mentioned, when I was wearing the skirt with this, this is just an option to dress it down a little bit. Let me take my hair out of this clip because I've had this in for quite some time. But yeah, this was the last outfit of the video. So I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my casual fall outfits. There are 20 outfits in total in this video, but as you saw, I used a lot of the same pieces and just mixed and matched to make different outfits to show you guys you don't need to buy an entire new wardrobe to have cute outfits for fall. You just honestly need some basic pieces and some jeans and you're good to go. Honestly, if you're looking to invest in some new clothing, Princess Polly is such a great option. Again, if you are shopping from there, make sure to use my discount code that is on the screen right here, Quora20, to get 20% off your order at checkout. Again, thank you so much to Princess Polly for sponsoring this video. I am absolutely obsessed and I'm so excited to wear all these clothes for this upcoming fall. If you guys did like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up down below it really helps out my channel a lot if you're watching this i love you thank you guys so much for all the love and support if you stayed till this point in the video thank you so 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 much also make sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to and leave a comment down below what your favorite outfit was from this entire video other than that i hope to see you in my next one okay we're over it bye